Today it finally released, Houdini 19 is out now, you can download it and uh, I've already done so and I am since the morning testing new features, looking for what's new, what have changed and uh, I, I, I got to play around with the new Vellum flip interaction. So now in Houdini 19 it's actually possible to combine your uh, fluids simple fluids with cloth simulation and i find it a really powerful feature and i think there's a lot of potential in this for really funny uh, simulations so i just want to give you a quick overview on how it works how to easily set uh, a simple setup and yeah i got uh, i prepared two things first of all just a simple grid to use as my cloth and then a, a few heads which we'll then use uh, as our flip source um, so for the cloth I simply go for a vellum configure cloth and I want to pin these uh, outer points So they don't get simulated. All right. So then uh, I will quickly go for Venom Solver. See if this works. I usually put by default the subsets to four. I'm pretty sure with the new fluid interaction, this it's better as well to do so. Okay. So the the cloth is working, and now I want to just drop the fluids onto my cloth so let's go for vellum grain configure grain and what i found is that on here you can if you create the points from volume put the particle size down so maybe we go with something this and now on the uh, if, if you if you put this on create points from volume you can actually choose a type so if you want to have grain or fluids if you put it to fluids in the physical attributes tab you can see that there are different attributes available now so you can make it very vicious fluid for example you can give it also surface tension friction uh, yeah, whatever you whatever you like. I, I I will make a very thick fluid now, and let's just see how it behaves. Um, so let's merge our vellum uh, vellum objects together. For this, I just create three different merge nodes, and the first inputs go into the first one, the second into the second, and the third into the third, and then I just put those in here all right so let's let's just see what happens for now okay this seems to work i mean the fluid seems to be quite heavy or we need more bent resistance on our uh, on our cloth then oh, let me let me make the background dark so it's you can see it better all right so this it actually works it, it looks pretty cool already so we have our bouncing look liquid on our cloth uh, let's go for a bit more bend stiffness on our cloth and what what's really important when you when you play with interactions between different kind of objects is the mass of the object so i mean this works but it, it you can see it's it bends it stretches the cloth a lot right now 
So we can just quickly have a look. So it's up going to minus one, right? So if you if you want to have more control over the interaction, you actually need to adjust the mass. So in the in the vellum constraint grain, you can set the mass. Now it's to 0 0.1. If you put it to 0 0.05, it's actually half as heavy. So let's now see how far it goes down. Well, it's still going down a lot. So maybe we just put it to 0 0.02. Let's see. Yeah, now now it's now it's a bit uh, lighter, and I, I I really enjoy the results we are getting here with the uh, uh, how how it's behaving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can now also use soft bodies and whatever you want. Just combine it, so we have like these strings of objects, uh, set the constraints, merge them together into the vellum solver and you will get really cool results. Just keep in mind that you always think about how massive, how much density your objects have so you can, uh, you, you get the right interaction between them. But it's a bit abstract to say, okay, how heavy is, is the whole uh, fluid thing compared to our, I think it's two meter by two meter cloth, but uh, it's very uh, a very fun thing to play around with, and I hope it, this tutorial um, helps you to get started, um, at least where to look for things, and uh, yeah, I'm right now just keep playing around and see what else I can find uh, to do. Goodbye.